Hey, comic book fans! Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, you're with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to bring you that all important comic book review to help you, the readers, make decisions on what comic books to buy. And today, fans, we're going to be talking about a new number one out from all new Marvel Now, and that is Spider Man 2099. Now, I've been hard on the character as of late since. Uh, the whole Superior Spider-Man when he showed up there, and I wasn't a huge fan of it, and I'm like, God, he's so stupid. But that could be because he was written wrong, and I'll explain as we go along through this particular issue. First off, this uh, book is written by Peter David, and uh, the cover art here is done by my favorite cover artist, J. Scott Campbell. And the interior artwork in this particular issue is done by Will Sleeney. Um, I thought the artwork may have not been perfect in this issue, but as you read it, um, I feel you get used to it. Some awkward angles there, especially looking down at an apartment building, I thought was a little awkward. Um, uh, you know, you get to see... Uh, Spider, Spidey 2099 right here with that white outline, which I'm not a huge fan of that when they do that. Um, but the rest of the artwork was pretty solid. You get this uh, crazy creature from, from, the, uh, from the future that comes to try to destroy 2099. And uh, yeah, so I thought the overall artwork here uh, was, was pretty good. And uh, I think it was worth actually... Um, I think it was actually worth looking at, <laughs> you know. Uh, I like the opening page, too. A great introduction about who Spidey2099 is and where he's from. So it gets you up to the speed with the character. Um, so right off the bat, this book opens up and you get to see this, this, this truck driver. And uh, he's driving and uh, all of a sudden you get to see this being come from the future. He's, holy crap! And the whole truck blows up, and it's like, damn, dude, that's crazy. And so it's like it's like a Terminator effect. That's what this part actually reminded me of. And then it flashes forward to a little bit to um, uh, to uh, Miguel O'Hara, and he's buying this apartment. And I think the dialogue here in the purchase of this rental apartment I thought was really neat. Uh, you know, he chokes around a little bit with the with the with the landlord saying that, you know, I've won the lottery and, and this and that. And so you can see the humor that O'Hara is having amongst his other characters in the book, which was good. And then you get to meet Tempest, which he saved in previous issues. And I feel that these two will have some type of relationship as the book goes forward. And the dialogue moments there I thought were pretty neat as well. Um, so as the issue progresses, you get introduced to this character that came from the future. He came from 2211 or whatnot, and he goes against these, he comes across, he's looking for 2099, and he comes across these guards, and he is uh, from this structure called Totem, and uh, he can tell anything that happens in the future because he comes from there. So he threatens these guards, and he sits there and he says, uh, you're not a revelance to me, he's like, uh, and you're no revelance to this world, so I can exterminate you, and he'll exterminate somebody. And then he'll tell the person right next to him, he's like, oh, your person, your, your kids solve cancer, and they do great cancer research. I don't want to kill you. Uh, and then, you know, he'll give you some other information about, oh, one of your kids died 11 years from now in a car accident. So it's like, he could give you any information because he comes from so far from the future. And I thought that was really, really cool. And he has no hesitation at exterminating people. Um, I thought it was neat. So as the issue progresses, uh, we get to see uh, this battle go on between 2099. And then we get to see the introduction of Liz Allen in this actual issue. And uh, Spidey29 makes a deal uh, with the creature, the, the robot from the future. Uh, saying, you know, hey, if you kill Liz Allen, you know, you won't have to kill me because she has some huge implications. So uh, he makes a deal with Spider-Man 2099, but in the end, it's just a fake deal because he winds up saving Liz Allen's life and uh, Spidey 2099 just takes off and leaves and Liz Allen wants to know 
how Spidey 2099 got into the building because there's no way possible that he could have gotten in. So she's going to find out who Spidey 2099 really is. Now, what did I think of this particular issue? I thought it was great. I really liked it. I thought it was so much better and so well written compared to the character the way he was written by Dan Slott in Superior Spider-Man. I thought it was great. A great, nice, complete story. Had good humor. Wasn't forced. Uh, the artwork was solid. Maybe not perfect. I really enjoyed the book. Uh, it leaves you with a decent cliffhanger. It looks like Liz Allen will be a major player in this part. And uh, I can't wait to see uh, how everything progresses here. So I think this is a great fit. I think Spider-Man 2099 uh, accomplished what it needed to do to grab its readers for this first particular issue. I think you guys should give this one a try. Um, I was hesitant at first because Superior Spider-Man didn't do any justice for me in reintroducing the character. He doesn't go into crazy dialogue uh, so much with like, a holy snark or snot or whatever he says, that futuristic bit language. Uh, it's only in there once in a while, so it's not overdone, and it doesn't uh, mess up the dialogue in the book, and I really like that. So, uh, yeah, so after reading this, guys, I'm going to give this one a solid 4 out of 5. Maybe the guy from the past was a little cheesy, but it was a good introduction type of character. So, again, guys, check this out. And, guys... Don't forget to check out the other site that I work on, ComicFrontline.com. You can check out all kinds of news articles, reviews. You can check out the YouTube channel as well where you want to see more of my reviews. You can check out Realm of Dreams issue number one uh, that I've written all by myself <laughs> and, and, and read it there. And issue number two will be coming out uh, soon. And uh, don't forget to check out our live shows each and every Tuesday night. We're going to have a QA, and a a 1,000 subscriber uh, review show on Comic Frontline, so you guys can check that out too. And uh, don't forget some more of my reviews coming up shortly and the countdown for the rest of the week. So, guys, as always, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. Until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Thanks, guys.